Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to be unboxing something that I've been looking at for a really long time and finally pulled the trigger on. Um, it's from Paul Lund. Paul Lund released a jewelry brand or a line of jewelry um, a few months ago and I have two Paul Lund bags. I love Paul Lund. I think that they do really unique and architectural styles, which is something I'm personally very drawn to. So when they came out with a jewelry line, I was really interested to see what they did. It's very sculptural, very organic, very much in line with the brand. They've also been doing a couple of other collaborations, like some vases and just kind of interesting stuff. So they're branching outside of the leather accessories and handbags that we all know and love them for. Um, it's really exciting to see uh, a new design house sort of stand up and become really popular. And, and I really do think this is a brand that's gonna have longevity. So I don't know, it's like way too soon to call and I'm not a fashion, analyst or critic or anything really like that but I really feel like it's kind of like watching like Chanel or Givenchy or Saint Laurent startup it's like you get to be kind of in on it from the beginning so fingers crossed they become like that level I think the craftsmanship is there and the design certainly is so um really really love this brand if you can't tell and when I saw these pieces I really really wanted to get them right away and I just I had other priorities at the time so yeah, I finally pulled the trigger and they arrived today. So we're gonna unbox them. Um, I am going to apologize in advance. I don't have the names of like the styles right off the top of my head. Also great bad at opening boxes. So I am apologizing in advance because I'm probably gonna butcher these pronunciations, but I believe the two pieces I got are from the Eros style, Eros, Eros. Again, everything is linked below. Um, I've watched a few videos, sorry. I knew it was coming in this packaging. Very sculptural, very organic, very minimalist. That is Paul Len. And then, let's see. Aha, here we go. Comes in a little, so this is the box. This is the dust bag it comes in, or I guess protective bag. You get a little care packet with a Paul Len symbol on it. I'm gonna be honest, I saw those on videos and I knew what they were and I just, I this I don't like. This I'm not such a big fan of. It's awkward, it's hard to pack, and like, I don't like this box. I would prefer more of a traditional box, but you know, nobody asked me. All right, so yeah, these are the earrings. This dust bag is really nice too because it comes with two different pockets so you can protect it and there's like a larger pocket back here. So like the two smaller pockets for the the earrings are up here, and then a back pocket, which you could use to store um, a necklace or a bracelet or something in. So that is quite nice that they have. These are hefty. Like I genuinely am surprised at how that's thick, and these are heavy. <laughs> um, all right, so if you can see it, I got, sorry, I haven't gotten a manicure in a while. I got these earrings. Um, they are just incredible, like, kind of almost like a carved rock kind of a vibe. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well, but um, I was just so like impressed with them. I thought they were so cool. So that's a little narrow for an opening. I don't, and the, the backing is this cube, which is really cool. Like again, these are, these are not lightweight. These might hurt my ears after a while. We will see, but they're just, such cool designs. Hold on, I always struggle to get these things in my ear. Yeah, such a cool design. Something like that. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's heavy, for sure. Like this is gonna wear, weigh your ear down at the end of the day. <laughs> um, which is kind of a bummer, because I already get a little tired like this is very much my first impressions, <laughs> um, but God, they're beautiful. I, I don't think I'm gonna care because they're just so pretty. Uh, very secure little studs on the back, and there they are. Um, I just, like I said, these, like the shape was just so incredible, and I love a hoop, and they're the right size, kind of like a day earring. They're definitely a statement earring, <laughs> um, like. Yeah, really, really, really unique. Um, 
but I'm already kind of in love with them. So that's cool. Those are the earrings. I This dust bag is really cool though. That's great. Um, then, this piece. Okay, again, we've got this thick cardboard. I mean, it's a cool design, but honestly, I really, really would prefer the box. Again, same thing, with a little hair instruction packet. Packet flips open. This one is just, okay, so this is interesting as well. I got a necklace, and so it's got, this is kind of nice. It's got these like, um, things that you can hook stuff onto, the necklace onto, so that it like stays in place, and then it's like a little travel pack. That is really nice. That, to me, is a very like, a very well thought out design, and like has a very like, luxury feel to it something you wouldn't get elsewhere sorry i'm really bad at getting things out of things okay again really like hefty solid weight to this and this is the necklace so it's again got this very like these are both the same this is the arose necklace very sculptural has that like really like carved rock look to it, it seriously it looks like like shale or slate carved, covered in gold, which is amazing. And then what I really, really liked about this is there's two different lengths. So you can have this kind of cool chain detail, which I think is brings like a nice asymmetric look to this necklace. That's really neat to me. Like it is a feature of the necklace if you want to wear it on the longer length, which gives it again more like edge, or you can wear it more choker style on the shorter length and then this hangs down in the back. So let me show you. Also see where it sits uh, on my neck. So this is the longer length, and I think that's a really nice, for me, that's a really nice length. I do have like kind of a, <laughs> a thicker neck, I think. Um, anyway, so that sits in a nice spot. And then if I wanna make it a choker, then, then it becomes more of a choker style. I'm not sure that that's best on me. Here's here's my one beef with Pauline. I, I really love the brand, but y'all, like I have a belt from men that they show doubled up and it's styled great. Um, guess what? <laughs> I am not a size zero model and there's no way that I can get it to do that double wrap length on my body. I can, but it doesn't hang the same way. It's not the same effect. And so, like I can't pull off the look. I can still kind of get a double wrap look, but it's not the same. And they don't have different sizes of belts, so it's not like I can be like, well, I'm a medium large. I'm not gonna fit your size zero sample size model. Like I need a longer length belt so I can accomplish the look that you used to sell me the belt. <laughs> the model that they have using this necklace, she has a much thinner neck than me apparently um, because it hung down a lot further on her. But you know what? Like, that's okay. Oh, I can kind of adjust it and get it down a little further. Um, that's okay. I wasn't really looking for this to be a choker. Yeah, like I said, I, I really do plan on wearing it more like at this length. And honestly, then this is kind of hidden, which is a bit of a bummer to me. Or you can um, adjust it and hide it on the back of your neck. Uh, I don't like how that has that over there then. So it doesn't bother me over here. I kind of like it as, like I said, an aesthetic. But it might be nice to have two different chain links, especially for those of us who have thicker necks and are not size zero. Because when you're not a size zero, everything is thicker and you just need a little bit more length on things. Um, just my own opinion. But yeah, I, I really, really like these. I think this is beautiful. I think these are beautiful. Actually, let me go, I, can't, I don't have anything to look at um, and I can't see the viewfinder because blind Kim is blind. Um, so let me go look. Okay, yeah, 100% obsessed. They're gorgeous. Just, yeah, with the plain turtleneck, with the t-shirt and jeans, and like, just with nothing else as like the statement, or with obviously a statement top. Um, I think I said it already. This is Alice and Olivia New Season, by the way. I'll link it below. Um, yeah, 100% obsessed. Love them. They're so great. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what Pauline comes out with next in terms of jewelry. Like, they really crushed it with this one. Um, definitely need to like give some more thought to that bracelet. 
Uh, I didn't love the ring that went with this set, and I would really encourage you to check out the others because if they're rock, sort of like really car kind of carved rock thing isn't for you. I think the other style, which is um, still very much like curved and organic shaped, but a little, um, a little simpler, I think maybe a little more minimalist in, in its way, like <laughs> um, might be more your speed. Uh, so yeah, check those out. Um, unfortunately, there's no silver at this time. Uh, I don't know if they'll be bringing out any silver. I don't really think they do silver. They really seem to focus more on like gold and like the warmer tones, but not everybody likes gold and some people like silver or some people want the option of both. So I'd be really curious to see that. I'd really love to see them do something in a mixed metals. Like I just don't think enough brands do mixed metal stuff and it would make life so much easier because then we wouldn't have to, like not that you have to match your metals, but it would just make life a lot easier, right? Um, so I would really love to see them do something in a mixed metals or mixed materials, like again, because they're a leather brand, at least so far. I'd really like to see them incorporate leather into their jewelry. That would be really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm very curious to see what they do next. Uh, I'm pretty much a Paul M customer for life. No surprise. Um, but yeah, really, really love the brand. Um, if you do have other jewelry brands that you think would be like interesting to me, like I said, I really only buy from Missoma because I'm quite picky. And I know there's like Majuri and Sarjo, like Sarjo and Monica Veneta and um, what is the name? Kendra Scott. Um, and I do like some Kendra Scott stuff, but I, I'm just really picky. <laughs> um, so if you have any jewelry brands that you think I should know about, uh, give me like a message in the comments and let me know because I'm, it's one area where I just am not very well informed. Um, and I really, like I said, I like what I like. I'm not really into the dainty jewelry thing. Um, I like sculptural stuff. I like really unique, interesting stuff. Um, but also like really timeless and like easy to pair with other things. So that's, I mean, I love like my Missoma chunky chain necklaces. I wear my signet ring all the time. I, I've shown, like I've been wearing it constantly in my videos. I did get that, those like twisted hoop earrings from a, a vendor in, in Porto when I was in Portugal. Um, so I will occasionally find things out and about. Um, I have some jewelry. There is a guy I really like here, actually, Vilos. Um, he does stainless silver, or sorry, sterling silver jewelry. It's all like Mexican stainless or sterling silver. Um, and he does great stuff. So I will link him below too, because that's the other person that I consistently buy from. So really, there's three jewelry brands I like, and Pollen is the newest one. Uh, yeah. Oh, price point. They're not too bad. Um, they were like, I think, 210 uh, I think maybe the necklace might have been a little cheaper, or maybe it was the bracelet that was cheaper. Anyway, they're in the like 180 to 210 range, um, so not like super cheap, but not crazy, like not like fine jewelry prices, uh, and certainly not what you would pay for something like Chanel costume jewelry, um, which I think is probably, <laughs> I've never checked out Chanel costume jewelry, but every time I look at designer jewelry, I think like, really, that's what you're paying for that? Um, so my thoughts. Okay, that's it. I'm done. It's a very short one today, but I just really wanted to show you these two pieces because I've been waiting with so much excitement for them. Um, again, shout out to Paul Len. You guys crush it every time. They don't know I exist. Um, but yeah, I really hope you like it. If you have questions, let me know. Like I said, these are heavy, but I've been wearing them for like 10 minutes now and they're, they're fine. But yeah, um, they're pretty heavy. So just be warned if that's something that bothers you, pay attention. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.